congratulations on these two tracks that you have just released. We've been playing the first one on our show, and it's been getting so much feedback at the moment. So, tell us, mate, what were you guys uh, trying to achieve with these two songs? Because one of the things that everybody seems to be picking up on is it's a little bit of a change in sound for you guys. So, tell us a little bit about what you were trying to achieve with these two tracks. Uh, well, I think we have, like, the change in sound, we were sort of, like, we, we had our sound originally, and I think like, we got to the point where we just weren't quite happy at it, like, yeah, you know, we sort of started nitpicking how it sounded, and so we sort of had a bit of a play around, and we managed to find, you know, this spot, which, you know, we all agreed we were happy on, and, yeah, it sort of started to flow really well from there, and all of a sudden, it became our new sound. <laughs> so, how did you play around with it? Did you just do a lot of jamming and things like that? What was the way to find that new sound? Right, well, we... Yeah, we did a fair bit of jamming and playing around in just different tunings and see, like, what felt right and stuff like that. But ultimately, you know, we looked at, like, you know, we looked at some of the the bands that we've looked up to, like, you know what I mean? So we started playing around with, like, some of the tunings we like hearing and all these other ones. And then, um, yeah, it ended up being pretty close to standard tuning that we ended up in. Were you a little bit worried about how your fans would, would take that new sound or was that something you just put to the back burner and, and went with what you thought you, you were happy with? Well, as much as, like, you know, you want everyone to love your music sort of thing, it's, you know, we've got to be happy with it too. Yeah. So, like, you know, if, you know, we, we're sitting there nitpicking at it, then there's no point in doing it sort of thing. So if we find where we're happy at, then I'm sure everyone will start to, enjoy with that set too now one of the other things that really hit me about these two tracks as well is they're about such deep personal things tell us a little bit about the the subjects and themes that you look at in these two tracks and how those tracks came about um both these two were written by stove um and you know inside your head was um it was more of a, um, anyway, it was, um, like a, it, it came from sort of his background being, uh, la, 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 la. give me one second. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get away from the TV. It's making noise. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, sorry about that. So, inside your head was it was sort of came about being like having a hard conversation on yourself, like whether you're like where you're at with your mental health and not wanting to give up on yourself, but sort of feeling like you're spiraling and how to sort of pick yourself back up out of that and, you know, deal with it in a way that's the best way for you. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, and good for nothing, it was, um, <laughs> he had an ex-girlfriend that was very manipulative and abusive and it was, I found it that, that was his sort of way of, you know, expressing the aftermath of what it did to him and how he felt about all that. They're the kind of tracks that people listen to and uh, and say, that's what I went through kind of thing. Are you guys kind of had people contact you so far and, and say, I've been through that? Are you guys prepared for that to happen as well? Yeah, well, we actually just the other day had a message come through to our Facebook um, from some lovely guy who, didn't want his name said, but, um, yeah, he basically turned around and was like, you know, this spells out exactly what I've been through, and we just wanted to let you know that, you know, it's so therapeutic to hear it coming from someone else and blah, 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 and you helped me and all this sort of stuff, and we were all so starstruck by it. Like, we, it took us a while just to figure out the words to say back to him. Like, it just felt unreal to be able to have anything close to that effect on somebody. 
definitely. And these tracks like have come out at a time when so many people are, are suffering as well. Were they difficult for you guys to put down on paper because they were so personal and you knew that so many people were going through these feelings at the moment? Um, yes and no. Like, obviously, you know, someone, coming from somewhere deep, it's always hard to put it on paper. But, like, you know, with everyone going through, you know, all this stuff that we're going through, putting it out there and giving it that little aspect of, like, maybe someone else is going through this as well and, like, maybe it might resonate better with them and blah, 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 and, hey, it might just make someone smile one day. Like... I don't know, it made it just a little bit easier to put it put it down, I guess. Definitely. And talking about the toughness of the of the past couple of years, was it difficult for you guys to even get into the studio to record? Because I know that in New South Wales, you guys have been in and out of lockdowns the entire time, the same as us Victorians. Yeah, um, we actually got ridiculously lucky with it because um, we work with um, Chris Lalek from Wind Waker. And um, he came down in that perfect little break between the two lockdowns and managed to get it in in that week gap, basically. We had two days either side of recording that um, he, we sort of just managed to just squeeze it in there. And it was one of those things where he was down in Wagga Wagga and um, basically went, you know, it's now or never. And so we sort of just sucked it up threw the money at him and got it done in, like, the only time we really could. Otherwise, we'd still be sitting on it. Awesome. And the question we've been asking everybody on our show recently is, how can our listeners support you guys at the moment? We know that while you're not out there doing shows, everybody's suffering. So how can our listeners help you guys out at the moment? Is there a way that they can purchase merchandise and stuff to to make sure that you guys can keep surviving? Um, yeah, of course. Um, we do have merch available on, like, postcards.bigcartel, postcards without all the vows. But, um, yeah, like, even just any small streams, giving us a listen now and then, any sort of support, throw a like on the Facebook, anything, it doesn't matter. Even the smallest little gestures make us absolutely gush, so... And what's your plans now for the future? Like, with everyone, both states now are talking about opening back up by November. What are your plans once everything's opened back up? Are you guys hoping to get out there and do some shows? Yeah, we wanted to, like, tour this new release as quick as possible. Um, you know, play as many shows as we can just in case, like, God forbid it does go into another lockdown at some point. Um, you know, we were talking about doing, you know, the three East Coast states, and we're also talking about maybe just sort of digging in and putting another EP or something out early next year. Well, yeah, so, like, I think we sort of looked at it as we've been sitting still long enough. So as soon as we're allowed to, we're going to dig our claws and everything we can. Crazy. Well, we cannot wait to see you guys back on stage. We also can't wait to hear some new music from you guys. But right now, we're going to play these two new tracks back-to-back on our show. So what would you like to say to everybody out there before they listen to these two tracks back-to-back? I just hope that everyone's having, you know, as good a deal as they can during lockdown, and I hope you're all out soon. I hope everyone stays healthy and happy, and I hope you enjoy the track. Awesome. Well,